All right, YouTube question. This one from Alex. He says, what is Leonard Fournette's value in a dynasty league? Ooh. Would you trade him away to receive the 103 in the upcoming 2020 rookie draft? Yes. Interesting. Yeah, I, I think y you've got a handful of top flight running backs, and obviously we don't know where they are landing yet, but there should be, I, th I think if you're in the top three, you're going to land a, a younger good running back and that's kind of how you stay ahead of the curve in dynasty uh, Leonard Fournette's not too old I think he's 25 right now oh, right. um but very soon I mean he's you know they're not sure whether they're going to pick up the option you know running backs can go from being really really great and relevant to yeah, just turn 25 to done so um yeah I, I think I would make that move that's where where I want to be is I think that Leonard Fournette's going to be good for fantasy football next year. But in Dynasty, if I'm out a year early on a player, so be it. I would rather be out a year early for the 103 than a year too late on Leonard Fournette, and you're left holding the bag. You know what's funny, though? I, I want to bring this up because I, I was uh, offering a trade literally last night with Leonard Fournette in our Dynasty League, and I looked at at the, the draft board thinking, oh, maybe I can trade Leonard. Like this exact question. Maybe right. I could trade Leonard Fournette for like a top three pick or something. And I was very hesitant. I've got Gurley, Fournette, and then nothing else. So I didn't have depth. And I was like, man, if I miss on that rookie, if I miss, my team is going to be hurt. Obviously, if I hit on the rookie, that's great. I'm just getting younger at the running back position. But I couldn't pull the trigger to offer that because I know Fournette's volume and, and quality is going to be good enough for my roster. So, I don't know. Do you think I made a mistake there? I would probably accept the 103 for Fournette. I am curious what you would say about this follow-up from Andy Holloway. Okay. Would you rather have Leonard Fournette or Le'Veon Bell in a dynasty league? Whoa. Fournette. I, I mean, would... they just talked about Lev Bell's coming back next year for sure. He'll be the starting running back for the Jets. Obviously getting paid. Fournette will be dealing with the contract situation. I Jason think, said Fournette. I think I would rather have Lev. That's where I lean. Like uh, his both Pain, of, painfully. Yeah, it, it is. You can hear the hesitancy in my voice. Of uh, I just I am very concerned. Come contract time for Leonard Fournette, that he's going to find anybody who really wants to pay up, including the Jaguars. Without being more of a platoon situation, Correct. or like the big back yes. on a team. I mean, look, Leonard Fournette. Really watching him play, have you seen anything where you're like, man, that's a superstar running back that can change an offense? Like if he went to the Texans right now, they're so much better. I think he's the closest thing to – I've always viewed him as his value is the way Derrick Henry's value is, whereas obviously Henry is a, a tier above in overall talent. But it's the ability to take the ball 20 to 25 times and be the identity of a team. I think he does have that in him. He doesn't have one or two plays where you go – Okay, he's the most special skill player on the field, but I do think that there are only a select few backs that you can build an identity of an offense around, and I think he currently is in that category. But And I agree. There are a few that you can build the identity, but can that identity with Leonard Fournette actually win? It did a couple years ago. Yeah. I, I think it can. I okay. think it can. I, I don't think he is uh, – I think he doesn't get enough credit for being a good back. Hmm. I think that's probably true. But he also needs to stay healthy for a full season, be able to carry that workload. It's crazy how much he caught the ball last year, too. Yes. So he showed that he could do that if needed. Oh, hey. <laughs> I was just doing some heavy research. It's the research that makes the fantasy footballers great. Click that subscribe button and find out more.